An Eau Claire woman is sharing a very personal experience, hoping to bring a voice to what can be an uncomfortable topic. She fears she's not the only one who's been misdiagnosed. Emily Valerio explains. I've been to a gynecologist since I was a, a teenage girl. So for me, this was extremely shocking. It's been less than a year since her diagnosis, but 36 year old Tanya Oswalt has been suffering from the symptoms of lichen sclerosis since she was a teen. Lichen sclerosis is a skin disorder. That's why I see it because it's primarily seen on the vulva. This is not like an STD. This is not something that's contagious. This is not our fault. We didn't ask for this. <laughs> we didn't do anything to get it. This is an autoimmune disorder. This is more, more like if you had diabetes or thyroid disorder. It's more along the lines of your body working against itself. In October, Tanya came to Dr. Erica Barrett's office for the first time. And she said, well, how long have you had LS? And I felt like I was going to fall off the table. I <laughs> sat up, I'm like, how long have I had what? <laughs> so now it's funny, but at the time I was terrified. I had never heard of lichen sclerosis. LS can be seen in both men and women, but doctors say it most often shows up in women during times of low estrogen, so either before puberty or after menopause. If you have somebody that has LS that is in a flare up, they're really going to be suffering. It's not only itching, it's pain, it's possible open cuts. Tanya says even something as simple as sitting can cause unbearable pain. We can't go biking anymore. We can't go for long walks. And there is no cure for LS. There are all kinds of different treatments for it. And there are some treatments that offer a little bit better hope for a cure. They're still working on those things. After watching an episode of the doctor's TV show about LS, Tanya learned about an experimental treatment offered in California. The procedure harvests stem cells from the patient's own body fat and injects them into the LS affected areas. Overnight, my skin started healing and started repairing itself. Tanya hopes by sharing her story, the shame and embarrassment of this disorder will start to fade. Not many people know about it. There are many young women that are suffering, that are being misdiagnosed, being told, oh, you're just one of those girls that have chronic yeast infections. And that may not be the case. A lot of patients just tough this out. That's the hard part. Reporting for Eau Claire's Own News 18, I'm Emily Valerio. So brave of her to come forward. Tanya says because her treatment in California is experimental, it's not covered by her insurance and will cost about $10,000. She is raising funds in hopes of covering that cost and helping others with the same condition. So to learn more, you can look for this story uh, on our website, wqow.com.